thinking of reputation, mm-hmm. you know, the reputation in the SEAL team is very important. I I have fun with your reputation, mm-hmm. you know, meaning I kind of have presented a reputation for you mm-hmm. against your will in some cases mm-hmm. of this level of cruising and relaxing mm-hmm. and maybe not super overly concerned about work or anything like that. First of all, mm-hmm. has that ever bothered you? No. No, okay. Second of all, if it did bother you, how would you handle it? Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna answer that right now. If it bothered you, the way to handle it would be the way you're handling it right now. Okay. So even if it bothered you right now secretly, mm-hmm. and you were like, no, it doesn't bother me, that's the way to handle it. Yeah. So this is my advice, okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> Keep it up. Yeah, if, if something, if someone's you know, harassing you about something, or you're, they're, they're doing something, saying something, and you don't like it, the worst thing you could do is let everyone know that you don't like it. This yeah. is like lesson day one of the SEAL right. teams. Yes, if sir. you show that something bothers you, you're gonna, that's gonna stick. If you don't let it show that, then people will move on because it gets boring. Yeah. If I started, if I was making fun of you all the time, actually, the only reason I keep teasing you about this stuff is because it's funny. You laugh, I laugh, we have, we, you know, we're fun. It's funny. If you weren't laughing and I was just, oh, then I probably right. would have moved on to something else to try and harass you out and front, try and find them some little, some little chink in the armor yeah. to get through. Yeah. So, reputations. Um, if someone is in a situation where their reputation isn't what they want it to be, how do you course correct that? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say, first of all, you gotta kinda own it. Meaning, hey, the reason I have this reputation is something that I'm doing is earning me this reputation. Mm. A lot of times people think, that, you know, everyone just says that about me. They're against me, they're trying to make me look bad, and what is this? This is the opposite of extreme ownership, we're blaming other people. Mm which means you're not gonna make any adjustments to whatever it is you're doing that's earning you this reputation in the first place. Mm -hmm. So your reputation didn't appear out of thin air. Your reputation actually came from something that you did. Unintentional, intentional, knowing, unknowing, but you did something that, that made people focus on this aspect of you. Mm -hmm. And that little aspect is now turned into a reputation. If you deny it, that's that's not me. No, that's not the right move. We have to actually take ownership of the reputation that we got, and if there's adjustments that need need to be made to it, we need to adjust our behavior in order to adjust our reputation. Reputation is strategic, meaning it's a long-term item. It's, you you can do things tactically, that can help your reputation, that can hurt your reputation, but over time, you have to maintain the long term, the long game on reputation. You can't, you can't be a slacker, a slacker, a slacker, work hard one day and think your reputation's gonna be good. Yeah. You can't be um, angry, temper, emotional, and then one day try and act calm and you think your reputation's good. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It's reputation is a strategic thing that you need to think about and you need to act strategic when it comes to how you carry yourself and how it's going to impact your reputation. Mm. That's the way it works. So if you notice or you start to you start to feel like your reputation is not where you want it to be, assess, own it, assess what corrections you need to make. By the way, I don't recommend radical changes where, you know, I've been lazy, I've been lazy, I've been lazy, and one day I just come in and start working ultra hard. Because people don't, I'm not saying you can't do that, but it's going, everyone's gonna kind of feel that. Everyone's gonna kind of be like, oh, it doesn't seem like a lasting thing. It's not, it's a tactical move, but not a strategic move. Mm. It's a tactical move, it's not a strategic move. If you say, oh, Hey, let me pick up that other shift mm-hmm. continually. 
You know, let me take this. Let me take that extra shift for the long haul. Oh, you got that little project? I can take that thing. You want to go in and say, oh, I got the new shift. I got this. I got that. No, it's too much. People don't buy. Don't, people don't believe it. It's like a fad diet. Look, that's a tactical situation. They're in a prison. It's not. A, it's not a strategic move to do that. They weren't. They weren't trying to say win the war with these by stacking these guys and stripping them naked and putting a dog leash. That wasn't good. They, that wasn't a strategic move. Mm-hmm but it had a strategic impact, a negative strategic impact. So it's the same thing with our reputation. If you make dumb tactical moves that might not seem like a big deal to you, you might kind of shrug your shoulders and say, whatever. Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't matter if I just cut this corner right now. But if that little corner that you cut, some people, you know what's a big one? Like dishonesty. Think about how many years Months, hours, seconds, days, all that shit. You have wasted on people who suck the fucking life out of you. Today's a good day for you to go through and shit can those motherfuckers. Shit can those motherfuckers who only call you when they fucking need something. Shit can those motherfuckers who can't get over shit. Who continue to bring up shit from the past. Who can't move forward. Life is short, life is precious. Spend that time with the people you love, the people you wanna give that time to. Real friends, real family. Everybody else, they're just sucking up the air you breathe. You need that motherfucker to be hard. Stay hard. To all you computer warriors, trolls, haters, I read your fucking messages on those videos I put up with me on my crutches, me getting my knees drained. You were happy I was fucking injured. You're also happy because you thought I'd never run again. All that C I told you, tagging your friend shit. Bitch, you don't fucking know me. You see a one minute fucking video about me. You know how hard I train, how I live, the fucking dedication I put into my fucking life. So why do you troll? Maybe it's a fat motherfucker at home, lazy, with no discipline or dedication. Maybe you're jealous. Who knows? But guarantee this, I'll be back better than ever. Ha <laughs> ha, fuck you, stay hard. Always be ready. You never know when your next challenge is coming out of the blue. A lot of people need to have that special event that's down the road that gets them motivated to get ready for the next challenge. I'm telling you right now, every day in life presents the next challenge. Google David Goggins sit-up competition. I'm coming out of my hotel room. This guy's coming out of his. I'm going to dinner with my girl. This guy challenges me to sit-up right in the middle of the damn fucking hotel hallway. The next one, 350 pound offensive lineman. I'm minding my business at a speaking gig. Challenges me to a damn arm wrestling competition. Today, I'm minding my business doing pull-ups. Sitting here doing pull-ups. Five, six, seven, eight on the minute. This guy wants to jump in. We get to 30 minutes. He looks at me, thinks we're almost done. We get to an hour. He says to me, how many can you do? I say, one more than you. Always fucking be ready in life. Stay hard.